they're parking. <gasps> Someone just left. We got parking. Yay, H Mart. All right, guys, here's the H Mart store. Let's go shopping. We're going to get some Asian groceries that's not commonly available in the other grocery stores and some snacks and maybe some frozen food. But let's go, H Mart. I haven't been to H Mart since my first day, which was eight. So I'm super excited to check out if they have anything new and just stock up because grocery store shopping is our passion. Let's go. All right, guys, this one tastes really good. Last time I got a bag of this and my friend at work, he's crazy about these are $3.49. Not too expensive. So we're going to get three of those because I love those. And then I'm going to buy one for my coworker friend. You know, I'm a nice coworker. What can I say? $3.50. They also have a lychee here. It's on sale, four dollars, and of course, ramputan, which is super super sweet. That one is three dollars. It's cheaper. Those are super sweet as well. All right, so these are super good. They're very meaty king oyster mushrooms. I know I buy the same thing every time, but they are literally my favorite mashed mushrooms. So we're gonna get three of these. How much are these? They're like probably $5 or something. I think it's $5 each. They're good. Oyster mushrooms, you can see that like, when they're cooked like this, that's pretty much the slices right here. So you just need to slice them up and you can stir fry or put it into your soup. It tastes really, really good. You can stir fry with anything together and put a little bit of soy sauce or just salt and pepper. Salt, pepper with jalapeno. Salt, pepper and jalapeno. It actually smells really, really good. I do recommend you just slice them from the stem. It's really meaty tasting and it's organic grown from Korea. Looks good. We're also getting a thing of dragon fruit. It's seven dollars. It's pretty expensive, eight dollars, and they're pre-cut. I would say dragon fruits are not hard to cut. You don't actually have to buy the pre-cut one, but this guy just got lazy. But we can probably also snack in the car on our way back from Austin. So get one of those. Some Chinese eggplant. I think two is enough. This looks pretty good. Chinese eggplants, $1. I guess I'll get three. Everything here looks so fresh. They definitely look more fresh than the one from Houston. This mint smells so fresh, guys. It's really good for summer mint teas and stuff. I'm gonna grab like a dollar of mint. So fresh. So we have this radish thing. This is not the one I wanted to buy, to be honest. But I'm happy to try this one out too. Because the one I got is like a little bit different. You know, there's like another one I wanted to buy, but like, let's just buy one thing of this. This one looks pretty good. Radish. Has potassium, calcium. Just like one. These are really good for soup. Like you put this in the soup, it tastes really good. I don't have it anymore. Roasted sweet potatoes. Three dollars a pound. Last time I got these, but I don't have it anymore. No. I'm really sad because they don't have it. They also have taro. This is taro. I kind of want to buy taro again. Last time I actually did get to make them, get a small one. You just steam it. It's super easy. You just steam it or put it in the soup. Actually, this one looks really good, but I just feel like that's too big. This one is not as fresh. For some reason, this one is super good, but to eat the whole thing is just gonna be a little bit hard. But hey, I'm determined. Let's do this this time. Our milk tea, this is what it looks like. And I really like taro chips as well. Kitchen tools, they have a lot of great Asian kitchen tools, especially the chopsticks. Like if you're looking for buying chopsticks, I really recommend the ones that are not made of wood, like something made of metal is usually better, just because they don't get like any weird bacteria and stuff. But yeah, I don't see it this time. These are pretty useful too. Have a nice seafood market. You can build your own poke bowls here, which is pretty interesting. You can eat your lunch here, literally. 
Oh, those are the teas that we got from Costco, but we got like the grapefruit and the passion fruit. But they also have the yuza, which is kind of sour. The plum kind of tastes good, but also a little bit sour. They're really good for mixing with the green tea. We actually got the grapefruit from Costco from different brands, of course. And they have some pretty nice coffee mix right here. Things you don't really see from the normal grocery store or things you'll always see. Oh, highly recommend this. We actually have a lot. We bought a lot last time, so we don't need to buy it this time. It's the Cafe Pho Instant Ice Black Coffee. It's $5. Oh my gosh. Two years ago, it's, it's $3. And then two years later, it's $5. But this is the best Vietnamese coffee we've tried on the market. You just need to buy condensed milk and then buy this instant black coffee. Mix them together and it's just so easy and they taste really, really good. And my friend from Vietnam said that it tastes like the real thing from Vietnam. So highly recommend this. Highly, highly recommend. This brand is super good as well. They have all different kinds of flavors. Ethiopia Koki Coffee. <gasps> really wanted to try those but we're trying to dive down the caffeine intake thai coffee personally i prefer vietnamese coffee and of course i do not recommend this milk tea sadly like it's okay but it's not the flavor is not strong enough for me it's kind of bland so i do not recommend this one but it's kind of really common to see in the, every grocery store there's a wide collection of seaweed snacks here. So what to look for is that what you, what oil they use to toast the seaweed. This one, it says avocado oil. So what you look at is for like the ingredient list to see if it has any like bad oils and stuff. Avocado and olive oil are usually better than like canola oil and sunflower oil. So look for the oil of the particular blend. And that's like the key thing. They all taste very, very similar, but I think olive oil ones taste pretty good. So yeah, there's so many different brands. And then there's essentially not a lot of difference except for the oil that they use. And that makes a huge difference in terms of the health factor. And it also tastes somewhat differently. So yeah. Wasabi flavored seaweed. I've been looking for this for months. Finally found this. I have a special thing for wasabi. So, and it's pretty cheap, it's $2. So, and it's from this brand, J Basket. I actually know this brand. We've had, we've tried different things from this brand. It's not healthy. Corn oil. It's, it's not healthy, it has corn oil, but it also has sesame oil. Sesame oil is actually really good. It's just the corn oil and palm oil is not good. Oh, I like this a lot, the teriyaki nori, $5.99. So if you take a look, there is pretty much no oil here. So they don't actually use the oil. The only thing that's not good is it does have corn syrup. But if you take a look, it's super low. It's like one gram for carbs. So it doesn't really bother me that much because the corn syrup is very low at the lower ingredient list, but it does have like MSG. Let's see if the other brand is better. Let's see what's in the ingredient list. So this one has sugar, maltose syrup. It does not have MSG. So this one may actually be a little bit healthier. If you'll take a look, it doesn't have MSG. It has mushroom spices, sweet rice wine, soy sauce. I think this one is actually a healthier version. So we're gonna get this one instead. The teriyaki nori, we're gonna bet two of this. The MSG is what bothered me. So we'll get this one without MSG. This is another brand. I think it's also $5.99. It's also teriyaki seaweed snack. And this one, if you look at the ingredient list, is seaweed sugar, chili broth, soy sauce, sake. Hey, this one actually looks pretty good too. It doesn't have MSG or corn syrup. It's also $5.99. I'm gonna try this one. Yay. But this one, I usually buy this one, but it tastes really good, but it does have like questionable ingredients. We're gonna skip this. But if you don't care, I don't see like why skipping it. It's just, I'm trying to eat a little bit. Mm. Actually put that back. We're gonna try this. It's hot and spicy flavor and it looks pretty good. So we're gonna actually buy two of this hot and spicy and one of the non-hot and spicy. So we'll buy two of these. So here's our final cut. 
like too hot and spicy teriyaki and no what normal teriyaki. They do not have MSG and corn syrup. It's just using sugar, which I appreciate. So let's get those. And doesn't use oil. So these are dry seaweed. It's not oily at all. It kind of tastes like sushi sheets, kind of flavor sushi sheet, pretty much. Okay, let's grab those. All right, guys, I actually bought this one and I made a dedicated review video. So I'll actually, actually post it. Um, so long story short, it's actually pretty good in terms of the flavor and it's not too sweet at all, but the texture is overly soft. So they don't taste as fresh as some of the other instant boba that you get from the freezer. So it's not bad, but I would give it like 6.5 out of 10. If you're going on a picnic and stuff, this is definitely more appropriate, but just letting you know, it's not the best, but also it's pretty like, you know, okay. It's like a doable boba, but it's $10. So it's $10 for six packs. And these are actually the jellies that you get from the boba tea shop. If you opt out from boba, if you get the jelly toppings, and those are the jelly toppings, they taste actually really, really good. If it's a smaller pack, I would actually buy it, but we don't need a $20 big pack, so we will skip on this. But we, in the past, we've seen like smaller packs, and I will actually buy the smaller packs, because it actually tastes really good as like toppings for your drinks, especially for summer iced tea. Here is the snack aisle. There's so many chips here. What we recommend, okay, this is not healthy, but this honey butter chip tastes so good. They're the best of the best potato chips I've ever had because they're very buttery and it tastes like sweet and buttery. It's just so good, made with real honey. It's $5. Don't overeat this, okay? It's not healthy. It also contains palm oil. But hey, if you want to indulge, get this one. It's the best of the best. But we're gonna skip today because we're trying to eat healthy. But if you're looking for something to buy, get this one. It's really, really, really good. This aisle is probably the most tempting ones for me. Even though I try to eat healthy, it's just so hard for me to eat healthy when I see those things. So they have a special flavor of Doritos. It's um, chicken flavor, hot chicken flavor Doritos. To be honest, I prefer potato chips than Doritos. I also like Cheetos. It's just something about corn flour is not the best um, for me, but this is gonna be like an interesting flavor to try if you are a fan of Doritos. And those corn chips also taste really, really good. I've had those corn chips. I love this so, so much. And I love the sweet and spicy flavor. This one. It's just so hard to stop. Like this one is $3.50. And if you take a look, it has vegetable oil, which is palm oil, which is not good. So this is not healthy. But if you take a look, it actually has less fat than other potato chips. Because, you know they taste really 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 good like i love this i'm actually just buy one to, sat to satisfy myself but everything in moderation right just buy one and those shrimp crackers i love those a lot and they're also less fat than the other ones but again like if you look at ingredients definitely not good so we're gonna skip on this and today i'm just gonna buy one of this for the sake of like indulging but yeah like I'm gonna buy this one. you're gonna buy this one yes chips sweet potato chips interesting where did you get them oh those are three dollars yes chips oh actually oh it's not the best it has palm oil and corn syrup but hey i got one for myself so he can get one for him it's three dollars we're gonna try out this chips for the choco pie, they have the Oreo and Lotte. I personally prefer this one. It's $5. Not the healthiest, but it tastes so good because it's marshmallow filling. I love that marshmallow filling. So I highly recommend this flavor. This brand and this flavor. You like these, right? Those taste really, really good. The chocolate Belgian chocolate fins. These are $4. We want to get a different flavor. Yeah. They have the orange flavor. Last time we tried the chocolate thins, okay. mint chocolate. It was so good. It's basically like a chocolate chip. It's like it's a Pringle. A, yeah, it's like no, it's not Pringle because it's not potato chips. It's actually rice, rice crisp. It's a rice crisp. So ingredient list: you have chocolate, cocoa powder, vanilla, soybean, lectins, rice crisp, sugar, 
It's non-hydrogen of vegetable oil at the end. So last time we got this, actually tastes really, 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 really good. So he's getting dark chocolate. And hazelnut. And hazelnut. I think the hazelnut is gonna taste really good. These are four dollars. It's a it's a sweet. It's like a dessert snack. It's like candies, pretty much. Candy chips. It's kind of interesting because in China I've had these drinks before. I actually really like the plum drinks. They're kind of sour and a little bit tart. But it's just so expensive in America and China. Like those Korean products are not that expensive. Let's take a look at the drinks. Wow, three dollar forty nine cents. <laughs> That's too expensive. I'm gonna skip today. <laughs> Usually, like these are like a dollar fifty cents in China. <laughs> I just cannot buy it with double the price today. <laughs> kind of expensive, but I know the barley tea tastes really, really good. And I've never tried this one, but I know barley is really, really good. Japanese roasted tea made with selected leaf from Japan, zero sugar. These are two dollars. I'll get one of those. Two dollars are okay with me. Inflation is crazy. This brand is super good, Itoen, but you can get this from Costco way cheaper. So get it from Costco in a big pack. And this kind, this is kind of like the one from Costco, the sponge cake, <laughs> where Brandon actually ate the paper. Look how expensive it is here. Five dollars for this small thing. The honey cake. Just, just get the one from Costco. I don't think it's worth. It. I've had it before. It tastes good. Like it's not too sweet. It's very, very like spongy. It tastes good, but it's kind of expensive. It's too expensive for now. This one also tastes good. I used to have it all the time in China. It's really honey. It's really soft, soft honey and buttery. This cake corn dogs. Korean corn dogs. Wait, what? Korean corn dogs. Interesting. Pomo one. I know this brand. Fish cake corn dog. You want to try it or no? It's kind of interesting. You want it? It's mozzarella. Yeah, let's get one. Frozen dumplings. I highly recommend the Bibigo brand. You can also get this from Costco. But here they have really, really, they have a lot more flavors here. <laughs> Definitely way more varieties of the Bibigo brand. But that's one of my favorite brands for, for dumplings, for frozen dumplings. I'm so excited for the corn dog. And here's the spicy pork and vegetable dumplings. This one is spicy. Kimchi flavored vegetable dumplings. Probably vegetarian. Korean pancakes. Red bean and cream cheese balls. That's interesting. Oh, I love those. I'm gonna buy one of those mango cake. It's three dollars. Actually, I like the pineapple cake, but mango works too. <laughs> it's three dollars. Hey, here's the fish cake that it's kind of similar to the one that we got from Costco. It's six dollars. <gasps> Bubble tea bar, ice cream. Hey, these are pop stickers. Pop stickers. These are the real pop stickers. Like what you call pop stickers in America are not real pop stickers. These are actually the real pop stickers. They're supposed to be open on the side and not a real dumpling. This is a real pop stickers, guys. <laughs> and we don't eat it every day. We only eat it on special occasions. Vegetable and pork. Korea's number one. Korea's number one. Number one okay, we're gonna try this out. Okay, I think we're pretty good. We got vegetables, snacks, and dumplings. We're ready to check out. Let's go. You want to start doing your B roll at 85 degrees? All right, guys, HMR was successful. Now we're going to go to the 85 degree C bakery store. We're going to get some bread and egg tarts. Egg tarts are pretty much things you have to get because it's just so good here. I've never had any egg tarts better than this except for KFC in China. <laughs> that one is actually better. But we're also going to get the white chocolate bread that I like. Hopefully they have it. Let's go. They 
have a new flavor as the mochi tart. This is the one we usually get. The mochi egg tart, they have the big one and the small one. Like this is the normal egg tart and mochi egg tart. I'm actually not a big fan of mochi egg tart just because I feel like the fillings are not as creamy. Although I like mochi, I just feel like it's unnecessary. So I would still go with the normal ones, the normal egg tarts. But if you like mochi, those small package are pretty good to try it to see if you like it. Maybe you'll prefer this one. And this is the white chocolate toast that we absolutely love. They're super thick toast. They're a little bit sweet. Just make sure you toast them and it tastes so, so good. Okay, anything else you want? They have a new thing. This thing is spicy. Interesting. I'll see. Meat pie bread. Interesting. Souffle cheesecake. Brandon wanted to buy this one from Costco, but it's actually here too. You can get the Japanese cheesecake from Costco. I don't know. It seems like very similar to the one from Costco. It's pretty much a different version of cheesecake. It's kind of similar to the Japanese cheesecake. They have this sponge cake too. I highly recommend the matcha red bean. Those taste so good. $3.20. Let's get two of them. Let's get two of these. I love this. It's a, my favorite cake. It's so good. It's not too sweet. It has sweetness from the red beans and the matcha flavor. It's really on point. The coconut roll. I bought my matcha roll. Okay, coconut roll. Let's go for it. What do you think? I think it's real soft. How's the coconut flavor? Is it? That's gonna take coconut flavor. Not, not super strong. Not super strong? Let's see. The coconut roll is a new thing. I don't think I've tried it. It tastes good. I like it. You like it? Okay, let me try the coconut thing. I don't think it, I can taste the coconut. I cannot taste the coconut. For sure. I just think it's good by Dorothy. It's just like. Well, you have to eat the part. I ate the, ate the part. There is no coconut flavor. But I really like the texture. It's like angel angel food cake, right? It's like sponge cake. It, I really like the texture. I can taste the honey. I think there's like honey in there. But I just can't taste the coconut, but it still tastes good. It's like pineapple. It's good. Pineapple? Yeah, I think I taste pineapple. I, I, think, I taste a little bit pineapple. I just coconut. I just don't taste the coconut. I do taste the pineapple. A little bit, like very subtle at the end. Yeah, so there's like a little pineapple right there, but it's good. But I still prefer my matcha green tea, red bean matcha rolls. I think that one tastes better than this. But if you're not a big fan of matcha, get this one. This guy almost ate the whole thing. You just ate lunch. No, save some for the road. Why? I'm just gonna eat it now. No, I like it. That's too big just to eat in one sitting. I'm not a quitter. I'm not a quitter. I can do it. That's crazy. This guy is crazy. He's gonna have a sugar crash all the way back for sure. There's the lavender latte. It looks so pretty. I wonder if it tastes good. I should have got this one instead, I think. It's like there's like milk cap, right? Yeah, Oh, wow, milk foam. It's sea salt milk foam? It looks so Instagram worthy. Oh, I didn't know it had this flavor. Does it taste really lavender y? I haven't gotten to that part yet. Oh. I just got a normal oolong milk tea. I have a lavender tea that tastes pretty good. You want to try that one? It's actually pretty good. It's a very strong tea flavor. I like it. I think their milk tea actually tastes pretty good. Yeah, milk tea is really good here.